Hi Barbies! It's Nuki. And it's Diana. And today we're at... Cokie Korean Barbecue. We're in Beaverton, Oregon right now. So we're gonna go in and we'll show you guys around. Let's go. They fall over the rooftops in Calabasas Somewhere in the world The prettiest girls Hello. How are you? How are you? Good. Four? Four. Four. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Four? Four? Good. Four? Four? Good. Four? 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 But that's okay. We can still do meat plates and you can still grill at each table. There's one, two, three, four, five tables to basically sit, sit and eat and grill at. And so basically since it's during this pandemic, we're all eating outside. A lot of different places are doing it where it's just takeout, but this place was actually nice enough to have like an outdoor seating already. So we were able to come in here and basically have this place to ourselves, which is really nice because this is our first like <laughs> review video that we want to start is. doing for you guys. We want to start going to different places around Portland, Oregon. During just, the pandemic too, yeah. and see how it is to dine in or like dine out, but dine in, you know? And, and also just yeah. experience their food. A lot of different foods that we have not, and a lot of different cultures we haven't tried down here. So we're definitely gonna be kind of like all over Oregon, maybe sometimes in Seattle, and we're just gonna try food for you guys. Yes, I am starving right now. No, seriously, <laughs> I haven't eaten all day. It's about like 1.42. Our like reservations for this place was at 1.30, so yes. it was really nice that we got to come in here, set everything up. What's up, man? We're gonna... What do you guys want to I just ordered it. I was okay, well, I know for sure that I want some big pork belly and some Ingus. Like like a prime bonus steak kind of ribs. I just want more bulgogi. Bulgogi? And then. I just said no bulgogi. Do you want. I want Two. intestines, but they don't have that, huh? I can ask, but I, I, I only know that they, they don't have, have that it. for all you can Pokey eat. Pokey don't really have it. Yeah, and they're intestines. It tastes really like grimy when you eat it. Oh, so it's like yeah. really, it's not, it's not really. It's not as clean as K Town. Yeah, K Town oh, okay. actually eat it. It's, it's like really gamey. Yeah, it's oh, like okay. they don't clean the insides or some shit. They oh, just okay. take it out. You know what I'm saying? I really like intestines at her job, but I yeah. guess this place it's a little more gamey, and I'm not really into that. Well, I'm not like, really into like elk and things like that either. We've tried the koki in Portland, but we haven't tried the koki in Beaverton yet. The meat plates. Um, we're gonna get the Angus. Angus. Yes. Um, the thick pork belly. Thick pork belly. And then a bulgogi. Ribeye beef. Yes. Um. There's one the other meat. You don't wanna do like a uh, uh, Galbi? Galbi. Um, They're good. That one. Um, do you guys want sure? No, do yeah. you have to sure? Yes. Um, can I also get a kimchi chicken? Sure. Okay, so sure. Thank Actually, you. Actually, can we also get a seafood pancake? Sure. Thank you. It's good. <laughs> so no soju? Uh, no. Maybe you were asking for soju because macaroni has no flavor. Maybe later. Okay. Like we mentioned, we are in Beaverton, Oregon right now, but they have three different locations. In Eugene, one in Portland, and then the one in Beaverton, which we're at right now. Anuki tried the one in Portland before, but we're at the one in Beaverton wanting to try it out because they actually have outdoor seating here compared to the one in Portland. Yes, they do. And they they follow pretty good safety procedures. Everything is like pretty far apart, and they have really nice eating labs here to keep us warm. I haven't gone out eating in a while, so this is a experience. And it's gonna be nice because I've never done Korean barbecue outside before. Yes, that's too. <laughs> so when we eat Korean barbecue, they have some banchan, which are side dishes. And I'll just explain a little bit about it. Right here we have black beans. Of course, you have to have some kimchi. Which is my favorite. <laughs> Mine too. Some daikon radish kimchi. Thank you. Thank you. We also have some bean sprouts here. It's really yummy. Then lastly, we have some potatoes. I also like to reheat these potatoes to make them taste warm again, but it's really good too. Over here we have sesame oil with salt and pepper. And then right here we have a bean paste, which is also very fermented and strong. So this one is our beef angus. And then we also, and then we also have this right here is some thick pork belly. And I'm 
so excited for this. It looks like a really good cut of meat right here. The fact that you get only two, too. <laughs> Basically just cleaning the grill off right now with an onion. You mostly do this with a barbecue or two, but it's always nice to season your grill before putting your meat on. A lot of people try to use uh, different things. There's butter here, which we're gonna try to attempt to, but we've never really used butter at all. Yeah, I don't know if the butter is a good idea. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna start grilling our meat, which I'm super excited about because this has been taking way too long. <laughs> Johnny told us that we have to keep it seared for one minute on each side, so hopefully it turns out good. <laughs> you just dropped your chopsticks. Okay, I don't care. We're gonna go for our first bite. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, but let's try how it is. Cheers. 
No, you don't no. drink the whole thing. I mean, I, I almost did, and to. then you stopped, so yeah. I had to stop, and I'm the one who doesn't want to. Are you supposed to drink the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Are you? Yeah? Okay, okay. Right. Bulgogi, I feel like, yeah. So we're gonna start to put some bulgogi on, and once we put that on, I'll show you exactly kind of how you can wrap your meat in the lettuce and eat it. It's different at other places, but at her restaurant, they definitely do it like a salad base. My restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um. You know how to cook bulgogi, right? Yeah. Just cook it. it. So if you've never really like eaten Korean barbecue before, um, we usually wrap it in lettuce with rice and then some sides. But I usually just like it with like lettuce and rice. Honestly, I'm such a plain girl. Yeah, she's really plain. But a lot of people always eat it with a whole bunch of different sides, and they kind of just like mix it all together. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's really good, especially with the bean paste. I eat it here and there, but it's really good with just a dab of bean paste. Even if you're literally like one of those people who do not know how to cook at all, coming out here is actually really easy. I'm pretty sure they'll explain to you very simply that you just put the meat on it once it looks cooked, once it's not red in the middle, unless you like it a little bit rare. But you can just take it straight off the grill and eat it. It's not like you're seasoning it yourself or anything. They also will change the grill out for you when it gets too burnt or not really to your liking. They'll change it out for you with yeah. like no hassle. No hassle. It's really easy and fun just to cook here and just have everything be on the table for you. It's definitely one of those things too to come with friends and just to hang out. Like you just saw we did the soju bombs. We weren't really coming here to drink. It's only like two, two. or three. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think about it like that, but it's yeah. really like one of those kind of like family things to do. Yeah, it's definitely like a family feel just to cook together and eat. Mm. I like eating this whole side dish by myself. <laughs> a lot of people will not eat the side dishes and you are missing out. A lot of people re don't even realize you're getting this for free half the time. Like technically, like yeah, you are doing like all you can eat or paying for plates. But they're not charging you for this, and I'm pretty sure they're not even charging you if you wanted like another like it's like thing of it. Unlimited. Yeah. And like oh, kimchi, gosh. radish, these little things. If you go to a Korean store, these are expensive. So if you want to ever try them, your time to try them all is when you go to a Korean restaurant. So good. It is. I love the cut. I like how they cut it already. You're not pre-cut. Mm. This. So good. The short ribs have always been my favorite too. They're just like really, really sweet. It's like a soy sauce glaze type thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is hot. Uh, it's like the pepper we eat at home. They must have mixed up their peppers. Just a little bit of soju in my rice. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Really? Yeah. You want some of mine? Interesting. I was like, what is that green apple? I was like, I'm good. <laughs> I was like, what is that? <laughs> That's crazy. So the bulgogi is basically almost cooked. So we're going to start eating that. And we'll the rice cake's been done. I'm going to dry a little bit. It's good. I'm scared. <laughs> you do a good job, but the ponzo sauce is good. I like my plate. Okay. Ready? Mm. Mm. Good. It's honestly good. Mm. Really? Yeah. I did not think of it. Huh. It still has a crunch. And you know how it is, like how pancake is when you cook it. 
been out for a while. It's a little foggy, but it tastes really good. It still has some crunch. It does. It has a seafood pancake is kind of very close to like a bun sao if you're Vietnamese. Um, it's like a flour pancake, and it basically is just wrapped or cooked in with like this one, for instance, seafood. Like, yeah, seafood. We have like onion. calamari, shrimp, green onion, scallops. Really good. Ponzu sauce is basically just kind of like a gyoza. Yeah, it's like, like a soy sauce thick. Thick. Yeah, like something that you would use for that. It's like sweet, not really too salty. It's really like it balances each other out really well. It does. Mm -hmm. get like three bowls. I just got a piece of lettuce and I'm basically just going to put a little bit of the rest of the bowl. Taking some of Nuki's bulgogi. <laughs> and I'm going to put a little bit of the daikon and then also some of the kimchi. I'm gonna pick some Angus bee. Definitely some kimchi. I love kimchi. Mm. I'm just gonna shove this into one big bite. Oh, baby, we forgot about garlic and a jalapeno. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't make her come back and forth. You might as well invite her to sit down and eat with us. Person, so I like to eat it small, but it's good. She's giving the smaller ones, man. Right. A lot of Koreans will usually use lettuce just because it is way too filling to constantly eat rice. It's a lot of carbs and putting a lot of that into your body when you're trying to eat expensive meat and especially all you can eat is mm -hmm. just like not worth it at all. Just like how Viet's they'll usually substitute and not put any of the rice noodles in and usually just stack it in with like cucumbers, lettuce, just to make sure that they can continue eating. Especially because we eat it with like nice slices of meat and not just like your regular cuts from like the grocery store. Exactly, this is like the premium cut meat. I heard also like alternatives besides lettuce is also rice paper, which I personally haven't tried, but I really want to because a lot of people rave about rice paper. No, they really do. They'll be like little tiny circle sheets and people will like hold them over their mouth and then like they'll shove the meat and everything oh, really? in. And it looks that so exciting. Like really? That. It looks so exciting. I want to try it. Try that. Yeah. It's so different because I'm really not someone who wants to drink liquor out all this whole year, but honestly, this is not bad. This straight like this tastes like straight beer. It does. It's like a little green apple savory. Me personally, I feel like Kai is like one of the smoothest beer to drink. I, have you ever had it by yourself? No, I think I only drink beer with you and I only drink beer when we drink cider. Yeah. I think Kai is like one of my favorite beers, like like you know how like Corona like those type of taste of beer like high mm -hmm. my top one. Is it just more cleaner to you? Yeah, it's cleaner. It feels fresh. Like when you drink it, you know how what I mean. Maybe it feels fresh when you it drink high. It feels like it's already on tap. You know, it's a tap beer, but it's that smooth. It's really smooth it's beer. Pretty smooth. That's what me and Ryan were just talking about. That we only really like drinking beer that's on tap. Yeah. It just tastes better. Me too. I love beer on tap. I'm getting cold and I don't eat a lot, so. <laughs> so we're getting pretty full. We still have like quite a little bit of meat to cook left. So we're just probably gonna cook that and take it home with us to eat later, which is the good part about Korean barbecue and doing meat plates is that all you can eat. Because all you can eat, you are not allowed to take the extra meat home unless you pay for it. So doing plates, it's a little easier, especially if you do like kind of like family style especially with kids you'll probably want to do plates versus doing like all you can eat definitely yes we're just gonna cook all our meat start oh. cleaning up yes mm -hmm. while well, the boys are continuing to kind of cook up our food before we end this whole video we kind of wanted to wrap it up and tell you guys our favorites yes um my favorite was definitely out of the meat the angus it was so tender. It, it has the, the perfect marble, like you know, it's high quality meat. No, that's exactly what I was gonna say. You could tell it was high quality meat when you ate it because it doesn't have like any seasoning on it. We didn't dip it in anything, we just ate it with 
basically just our lettuce. Yeah, and it literally melted in our mouth. What was your favorite? My favorite was the short ribs. What are they called? The, the Galbi short ribs. Those yes. are my favorite. I just really like it because they always marinate it in a really good like soy sauce based sauce, but then always the bulgogi is a go-to, which is it kind is. of like just thin like thinly sliced beef. It's really popular among like, honestly, it's just a really popular dish in general. Yeah, bulgogi, definitely. But I would definitely try some like seafood pancake. Their seafood pancake was on It was board. really good. I was actually really surprised. Oh. So I would definitely recommend the Beaver Beaverton location, but I mean, whichever one's closer to you, you guys are watching this, but wherever you are, just don't forget to call and reservate for them. Like we said, they have a really, really good safety guidelines. Everyone's kind of afar from each other. And then also they have heating lamps, which is so nice. But besides that, just remember when you're coming here to try things, it just, kind of explore your different tastes. Even though a lot of these different things are fermented, they do have stronger tastes than like regular barbecue. Yes. This is like premium meat. This is something that you'll never really experience at American barbecues. Especially this is, during the pandemic too. Everything. Yes, during this pandemic, there's so many things that we aren't able to go and eat, go and do. Having a Korean barbecue place outside, able to eat and having fresh air and something that is really nice it's too. It's really nice being able to eat with your friends and going out and just having like that adventure and out of your house experience kind no, of seriously because i was excited just to drive 30 minutes over here to come eat <laughs> yes exactly what's your rate of the food i honestly think it's like a eight or nine out of ten yeah that's exactly what i was gonna say i'm really into korean barbecue i love it so much the side dishes were good even though like a lot of side dishes are the same different places some places also make their own yes. i'm not too sure if they did but i actually did enjoy all those how did you like the bean curd paste the bean curd paste um it is actually not bad a lot of people have like a really strong taste right? even when you just put a little bit but this one was like a pretty mellow, but yet you can taste it there. And so I loved the bean paste. Like, there's not a lot of people who goes out to die now. So it's take really, advantage of yeah, it. Yeah, take advantage of it and like have that energy. Okay, Barbie, so that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye, Bye Barbie.